this is Donna. Welcome to my channel, Restore Glory. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have a haul. Hello, I have a haul. Um, so it's 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 a pretty good haul, actually. I think so. Um, it's I, I was gonna try to split this up, but I really don't have time to shoot another video today because I literally have to be out of my house in about an hour. So I was gonna try to split this up and you know, break it up a little bit, but I just don't, I just don't think I have time. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this haul. It's some amazing, some pretty amazing items, I think, as always. Um, yeah, so that box right there, I have two boxes that are going to go out to the uh, Vietnam Veterans uh, Association. They come to your house and they pick up items. And so what, I'm, what I've been trying to do over the last couple of weeks is to, you know, once a week purge, and then I uh, I put a box together for them to come pick it up. So they're going to come pick up some boxes on Tuesday, which is great. And I'm very grateful for my uh, other reseller and friend, Shalonda, for coming by and uh, getting some items from uh, from my stash, if you will. So thank you, Shalonda. Thank you so much for, for, uh, for picking up some items that I don't have to worry about anymore. It's always good to purge every now and then. All right, guys, so it's a nice, beautiful Saturday day. I hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday. It's beautiful. It started a little rainy this morning in Maryland, and uh, but then all of a sudden, probably around 1 o'clock, the sunshine came out, so I was very grateful for that. And uh, it's actually supposed to be cold tomorrow here in Maryland. I think it's, the temperatures are supposed to drop down to almost 40 degrees tomorrow, which is Sunday. And uh, not that that's a bad thing, Sunday. Sunday is church, so it's no no worries with that. But, um, but yeah, it's supposed to be cold tomorrow, so, um, and I gotta go grocery shopping. I just have so much to do. Anyway, I know you guys don't want to hear me rambling on and on about that. But anyway, guys, thank you again for stopping by my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell notification so that when I do upload videos, you guys will get a notification that that daggone Donna, she's putting another video up. Yes, indeed, she is. All right, my friends, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. A lot of these items, I, I can tell you right now, I have not even looked them up. I haven't had a chance to look them up, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with these beautiful, beautiful glasses. I got these from Second Avenue. I paid $2.49 for both of them. Let me just show them to you. Now, now you know, what's the word that I use when it's beautiful? Stunningly beautiful. So you cannot deny that these things are stunningly beautiful. I, they're hand painted like enamel, I think. And I think when I um, saw these before, I think I uh, remember them being like hand painted enamel glasses. I don't think they're Fenton or anything like that, but I do know that they are vintage. But aren't, look at them in the light in, in the in the window. Isn't that pretty? Just gorgeous. And I have two of them. I love, love, love that blue color. I know someone who would love, love, love these blue glasses. So uh, yeah, so those are extremely beautiful. At least I, th I thought they were beautiful. I'm going to have to reach down too, guys, so bear with me. All right, so the next item I'm going to show you is a pair of Linux. Did I pay $349 for these? Oh, Lord. Um, but they're in good shape, though, so I, I, think I'll, I think I'll do fine. It's a pair of Linux salt and pepper shakers. So let me just show you the first one. This one says uh, Rudolph. Look at that. They are... This is a shaker, as you can see, in excellent condition. Let me just take this tag off so you guys can see. Give me one moment. I'm going to take this off so you can see the label, just in case you guys are interested. It says Rudolph, and it does say Linux, made in China. And I think this one is in excellent, excellent condition. So this is the one that says Rudolph. And then the other one, give me one moment, the other one says, well, it says Rudolph too, actually, but this one has Santee. Hold a second. This one has Santa Claus. And a little, looks like a little squirrel trying to get Santa's uh, little nuts out of his sack right there. But aren't these adorable? Like seriously, seriously, seriously adorable for Christmas. Right? I love these. Aren't they cute? Love them. All right, the next item I got from Second Avenue, and when I saw, I could not believe it was still on the shelf because this I actually found late in the evening. Um, but look at this baby. I have never saw one this big. 
I've seen the little small ones. I've sold the little small one. This one is huge in, in comparison to the other ones that I've seen. It does have a uh, mark on the bottom. I'll show you that. Sorry about my light, guys. I'm really trying to figure out this ring light thing. I know it reflects in my glasses, and I don't know how to fix it. If you guys know, if resellers, if you if you guys know how to fix the glare in your glasses, just let me know. My setup is what it is. Until I can get a better setup, this is exactly what it is. So don't focus on me. Focus on the items. Right? <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? It is really seriously, seriously pretty. That's the bottom. I thought that was a crack, but I think that's just some dust in there. It might be, it might be just some dust. I just got to clean this baby out. But I love that, that uh, I'm going to call it Robin's Egg Blue and uh, the, the hand paint and the flowers. And it looks like there is some enameling paint there on the, on, the, uh, on the flowers. But that is gorgeous. Absolutely stunningly, stunningly gorgeous. And of course, I wasn't going to leave that baby behind. The next item I'm going to show you, my friends, is this thing. Uh, actually, they are, uh, I'm going to call them coffee and or teacups. Probably more than likely, uh, probably teacups. But they're by this company called Novel or Novel uh, Korea. You guys see that? And I have two of them. I'm not going to take the lids off, but they come with these lids probably to keep them warm. I paid $2.49 for, was it the pair or each? Give me one moment. I paid two forty nine a piece, which I didn't think was a bad deal. Um, but aren't they beautiful? These beautiful butterflies. They kind of sort of remind me of um, the Linux uh, Butterfly Meadow a little bit. Here's the top. Here's the other one. Boy, that breeze feels good. I got my windows open today, as you can see, guys. It's I love to open up my windows in the fall and get some nice fresh air. But aren't these pretty? Aren't they gorgeous? And I paid $2.49 a piece for these. So I thought these were completely, completely gorgeous. If you are a coffee and tea lover and add those to your collection. Set those down right there. Give me one moment. I'm going to set this down too. Give me one second. All right, the next item, I think I picked this up from Goodwill. I did. It's just a ceramic owl. I love owls. Owls do really well for me. They just do. And uh, I only paid $2.99 for that. But isn't he a cutie patootie? <laughs> Here's the inside. So he's hollow. He's not a bank or anything. He's just like a little figurine. Isn't he adorable? Of course he is. All right, the next item, I'm not going to take the tape off it, but I will show it to you. So guys, you know that I love Heather Gold Mink Blue Sky. And I try to pick it up and I try to make sure that... Um, I pick them up when I can, when they're at a good price. This one was at an amazing price, guys. It was only, I want to say it was only $2.99, and it is in great, great condition. So this one says Elf School, right? <laughs> Just totally love it. And it's really rare, not rare, but it's hard. Sometimes you'll get the base. Um, sometimes you'll get the, the, uh, the figurine, but the base is always missing. But this one definitely has the base, and I totally love this. It has the ABCs all around, and uh, it has uh, Elf School, which I totally love that. Classes 10, 10 to 2 daily, right? Stocking stuffing, um, gift wrapping. So here's the top. I'm not going to take the tape off. I hope you guys can see. There's like a <laughs> an elf on the top of the an elf on the top of the roof. So I love, love, love Blue Sky. Blue Sky, Heather Gold Mink pieces do really well. These tea light do really well. And I uh, I don't think this one's going to be any exception. But isn't that adorable? Love, love, love the purple color. The purple and the lavender. Just love that. The Elf School. Love that. All right, the next item, I'm not going to take the tape off either. As you can see, I have not even had a chance to take the tape off any of these. This I got from 2nd Avenue. I paid $3.49. But, oh, my goodness, look at these coasters. Now, you know my daughter, guys. You know, for those of you who follow my channel, know that my daughter is in um, school right now. She is studying. Um, she wants to be a veterinarian, so she's studying animal science. And she, so she loves, loves, loves horses, like loves them, right? And um, she's been volunteering at the uh, Out Nature Center ever since she was probably... I want to say since she was like maybe 12 or 13, she's been volunteering there, going and, you know, uh, taking care of the horses, walking them, feeding them. She loves horses. So uh, 
yeah. So if she saw these, she would probably say, oh, I gotta have them. But the answer is gonna be no. Look how pretty these are. They're almost like it's, it's almost like they're 3D or something. Not really necessarily 3D, but I don't know that effect. But they look so realistic. And it's so cool because they're all in various positions. So it looks like they're like right side by side. These are coasters, guys. And I love, love, love these. There's no maker's mark on the bottom, but the base is, the ba the, the, they're made out of glass. And the base is made out of wood, as you can see. But aren't, isn't, that, isn't that beautiful? Like seriously, seriously pretty. If she saw these, she probably would just take them from me. Absolutely not, Missy. Everybody loves horses, not just you. So she would totally love, love, love these. But she's not going to get them. Sorry, Sonia. All right, so that's that. So the next item I'm going to show you, I was so giddy when I saw these because, guys, you know that I love Port, Mar Port Marion Botanic Garden. Love, right? So I have two of these and they are set. Give me one second, guys. They are a set of uh, pastry forks. Give me one second. I got to open this, baby. I can't open it, right? There we go. They say that they're pastry forks, but they look like spoons to me. Here's the box, which you can see it says Botanic Garden Pastry Forks. But not unless I am completely on another planet, they look like spoons to me. But I think that's probably just a definition because I'm thinking that they probably could be um, appetizer spoons or something like that. But these are in excellent, excellent condition. New in box. Um, and again, I paid $5.49 for these. Give me one second, guys. Um, yeah, $5.49 for these. Um, but I have two boxes, right? And I um, I know that Port Marion will definitely do well for me, so I'm not worried about it at all. They kind of sort of sell for me very well. So I don't have to worry about that, but but I love, love, love Port Marion Botanic Garden. Every time I see it, I will pick it up. No matter what, I will pick them up. And like I said, I have two boxes of those. Let me just make sure. I'm going to look at the other box and just make sure that they're, they're, everything's okay. I didn't get a chance. Ah, so here we go. <laughs> now, these look like forks to me, right? So I don't know why that other box says pastry forks and it's clearly spoons, but these are forks. These are called pastry forks. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So I think it's actually kind of cool that I have the spoons and the forks, right? So I love, love, love Port Marion. Love, love, love. All right, so the next item I have is another Linux product. You know, it's so interesting because you remember, guys, back in the day how Linux used to... Well, Linux still is highly collectible. It just depends on what the Linux piece is. But it's so funny how... The thrift stores in particular, particularly Second Avenue, anything that says Linux, guys, they automatically slap a high price on it. Um, and so I was completely surprised that I saw this one. And I only it was only five forty nine, but it's it's new in box. This has never been used. It is a um, it's a cheese plate with knife, and it is with this cardinal on it. And this cardinal pattern for Linux always does well for me around the holidays. So of course I was gonna pick it up. Um, it, it has like a little small plate and a and a um, a knife. So I, of course I was going to pick that up for the upcoming holiday holiday um, season. So hopefully I'll be able to do like a live uh, a live sale with Christmas stuff. I am trying to plan my year out, and hopefully I'll be able to do like a live uh, everything Christmas sale. So we shall see. Is that something you guys would like? see like a live Christmas sale from Restore Glory let me know I'm happy to do it I have lots of Christmas stuff like lots of Christmas items oh such a mess all right so guess what guys along those same lines guess what I have I have oops I have some more spode let me put this right there I have some more spode spode sells for me like hotcakes I love 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 spode Christmas tree items. And this one is no exception. I literally just sold a spold um, Christmas tree. I think they called it a hostess set. It was a, um, uh, okay, I'm remembering. It was a, um, oh my God, it's popping out of my head. Pop again, pop again. It was a um, butter dish and a salt and pepper shaker. 
it was a spoke it was it was new in box and i recently just sold that one and uh was so happy so this one is in pristine condition it is a loaf pan as you can see and it is in pristine how much did i pay for it i took did i take i took the price tag off but the original price tag on this baby was it's a 11 by 7 by 5 by 6 loaf pan the manufacturer's suggested retail price was sixty dollars but people love Spode Christmas tree. And this one, as you can see, guys, is, is in pristine condition. No chips, no cracks, no utensil marks. This one was never, ever, I don't believe, this one was never, ever used. And if it was, Hazel definitely cleaned it up pretty good. You guys may not remember a show back in the 60s, 70s called Hazel. I do, because I was, you know, I remember her. But isn't that gorgeous? Just completely, completely gorgeous. In excellent condition. I love Spode. When I can pick it up, particularly if it's in good condition, I will pick it up. I won't even hesitate to pick it up. All right, guys, I'm moving along. The next item, I believe this is a Department 56 piece, right? And at first I wasn't going to pick it up. Um, uh, I don't know why. At first I wasn't going to pick it up, but something told me to do a Google Lens in the store. And when I did a Google Lens in the store, um, one of these came up like it was Department 56. Like I said, a lot of these items I have not even had an opportunity to really uh, dig deep and look them up and do research on them. But a Department 56 piece like this, it's a nutcracker. It's a uh, solid brass nutcracker. And I believe it's Department 56. But isn't that stunningly, stunningly gorgeous? There was some label on the bottom, which is off right now. But if this is, it is heavy as, it's heavy as all get out. You can use it as a weapon. Um, but uh, it is, it's a nutcracker. I know you guys can see that. And if it is what I think it is, then um, this will do really, really super duper well. So, um... I just took a chance and I picked it up. I think I paid like $4.99 or something like that for this. So I'm really hoping that this will do well. I'm really hoping it's the Department 56 one because it should do relatively well. All right, the next two items I'm going to show you are both Jim Shore. I love, love, love Jim Shore. Um, I love Jim Shore. I have sold several Jim, Jim Shore pieces. And depending on the subject... Um, they, they just fly off the shelves. People still collect Jim Shore and, uh, and add them to their collection. So whenever I can get them at a good price, I typically pick them up. And this one, guys, was no exception. This one is in excellent condition. It is a Jim Shore. They call this one, baby, give me one second. They call this Dashing Through the Snow, right? This one is relatively big, as you can see. And it is a beautiful Santa that has this beautiful... Christmas uh, holiday snowy scene and he has this beautiful uh, Christmas tree on the side that has snow on the tips and then he has this star right here right there and then look at that punum isn't he a very handsome fella <laughs> but he is in excellent excellent condition guys and of course anything that's Jim Shore I will tend to pick it up because Jim Shore definitely does sell well for me. Like year over year, Jim Shore pieces really do pick up. I mean, I pick up, uh, they sell really well. So I don't leave them if I possibly can. Sometimes it just depends on, um, it depends, excuse me one second. It depends on where you get them from because I've gone to like antique malls and vintage stores and they are priced at retail anywhere between 30, particularly for a piece like that at a vintage or antique shop, that probably would have been at least $40 easily, right? Um, I think I paid $8 for that. Um, so I think I can probably sell that baby for about $35, maybe $40. So like I said, if it's at a good price, I typically pick it up. So this next piece, I am over the moon giddy about because although it doesn't say Jim Shaw on the bottom, when I looked it up, I know that this is a Jim Shore piece. It is a, give me one second, guys. It says, hold on one second. It says, Spirit of Christmas. And it says it's produced by Inesco. And it is Mickey Mouse with his lantern and his Christmas gifts. 
and he just looks so happy. But doesn't it look like Jim Shore? Although it doesn't say Jim Shore, right? Um, but I believe this might be a Jim Shore piece. I really do. I'm going to do a little bit more research on this baby. The original price on this was $45. I want to say, guys, I paid, how much did I pay for this? Maybe $5.99, I think. Um, but I do believe this is a Jim Shore piece. I really do. Um, here's the back. And he is in great condition. Thank you, Mickey. I just love him. He's so happy. He made me happy. Um, he's so, like, Jim Shore-esque. So I'm really hoping that this is definitely Jim Shore, even though it says it's Inesco. Although now that I think about it, I think I've seen some pieces that even though they were Jim Shore, they were made by Inesco. I'm going to do a little bit more research on this one, guys, and I'll let you know. If I do find this, I'll stick a picture up in the, up in my, uh, up in the screen just to make sure. Because I definitely want to make sure I have the right item and I price it accordingly. But isn't that cutie patootie? You got to love it because it definitely is Jim Shore looking, right? All right, the next item, sorry about that noise. The next item, I find these babies like hotcakes. It is. It came in the bag, as you can see. I'm not going to take them out. But it's a set of these metal, kind of sort of uh, metal um, butterflies. I, I find these all the time, and I sell them all the time. So this is a set of one, two, or three, or four. It's a set of four. So it has this little small one right here, as you can see, and then it has uh, three of the big ones. So let me just show one, one of them, guys, because that's not fair to keep them in the baggies with the glare. So those of you who might be interested in seeing what they look like, so that's not fair. Donna, just take them out the bag. Not a problem. Give me one moment, guys. Yeah, these always sell well for me. So here's one. Right? And I'm not going to take out all of them, but they the rest of them look like this. They're in various sizes. Right? So these do always do well for me. People love these butterflies. They, oh my God, you can put them in any any of your home decor. Mid-century modern, vintage, or whatever. They just, they just always sell for me. So I'm really glad that I found those babies again. All right, the next item is another blue sky piece. I did not know it was blue sky. It just looked interesting on the shelf and I decided just to go ahead and pick it up. But then when I turned it over, it clearly said 2002 blue sky core. And look what it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful ceramic Christmas tree. And on the top, it has this beautiful cutie patootie bird. <laughs> Right? So I don't know what this one goes for. Maybe it went to a piece or a set. I'm not really sure. But it is blue sky. Oops, sorry. It is blue sky. And I love that cute little blue bird on the top. Isn't that cute? And it appears to be in good condition. So if you guys know anything about this particular piece, do let me know. But, um... I don't know if it goes to anything, but it just it, this was just single. It was a single piece and uh, waiting for me to pick it up. So I picked it up. All right, so that's that. Okay, so the next set I'm going to show you. Let me put this down here. Give me one second. Um, so this next set I'm over the moon excited about. It's Pyrex, right? It's Pyrex. And it was a lady that was, um, she, she saw these in my cart. And she told me she was a reseller. She's like, oh, my God, those are so pretty. How did you get those? I'm like, well, they were on the shelf. So um, anyway, uh, you know, first come, first serve. So anyway, let me just sh let me just show you the set, guys, so you can see. Oh, my goodness. Hello. I love this golden color. I love it. So it is a three-piece set. With various sizes. They're very, very heavy. Here's the smallest bowl. Right? This they were all different prices. This was five, this one was $5.99, as you can see. But when I tell you that this thing is in excellent, like excellent condition. Like these things were never ever ever used. I don't believe. No utensil marks on the bottom at all. But love, love, love that golden pattern. I'm so gonna get these babies listed for the fall. Um, but I know that they are pirate collectors. And here's the next bowl. This one was $6.99. Right? 
This one is the white with the gold leaves, the gold pattern. Right? And then finally, give me one second. These babies are heavy. And then the biggest bowl. The biggest bowl was $7.99. So from one was $5.99, $6.99, and $7.99. Excellent condition, as you can see. No utensil marks, no scratch, no paint loss. Look how stunningly beautiful this piece is. Oh my goodness. So uh yes, please. So it's so funny because I love resellers. I love um you know, have a conversation with resellers because they know when you have something super duper special, you know, um, they have a tendency to peek, you know, in your cart. And uh, so, yeah, that, I thought that was a great find for all of that, for all of those pieces, I thought was a great, great find. And I sold a Pyrex set. I think it was the blue set. And um, yeah, I packed those babies, no problem at all. I, what I have learned, like, as if you look at, like, if you order stuff online and see how they pack glasses, I have learned to pick up the tips of how they pack glasses so it arrives safely. So I'm already an overpacker anyway. Like, I really super overpack. Like, I would add stuff. Um, the good thing about my uh, about my job, which is for many reasons, um, my job gets a lot of packaging, a lot of stuffing, a lot of styrofoam, a lot of uh, uh, popcorn, a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call those things, balloons. And I ask them to save all of that for me, all of it. And so I use, I have a, you guys will crack up. I have a bag in, in my trunk that's full of, like, it's just stuff just to stuff stuff with, whether it's styrofoam, popcorn, um, all types of pillows, uh, those um, pillows that you blow up. And I keep all of those in a big bag because they come in handy. You know, they're going to throw them out anyway. So I just get them and they come in handy because I can always use those when I'm packing my items. So I'm never afraid to pack because I oh, I have a tendency to overpack anyway. So um, anyway, I'm not worried about big items like that because um, having stuff shipped to me for my own personal use, I actually see how, you know, other uh, retailers pack stuff, whether it's a lamp or glasses. And then I just, I just use what they use. I take that stuff out and I say, that's a good idea. And I insulate everything nice and nice and tight. And it always arrives safely. Thank God. I have, have to say, I don't think in the last few years that I have been reselling, I think I may have had maybe two items that arrived uh, unsafely. They were damaged. So I think those are pretty good odds. All right, guys, let me just keep moving along. The next two items I just got to show you because I actually have a set of these. These are these um, eggnog uh, little, uh, what do you call these things? Like little um, eggnog cups, right? And these are Fire King. I believe these are Fire King. Give me one second. Nope, these are Hazel Atlas. I take that back. These are Hazel Atlas. I believe that I have some that are in my stash right now that are actually Fire King. Um, and I'm not going to list any of my Christmas stuff, probably. So I go away um, for my job in October. And I come back on the... Wow, I forgot. Oh, my God. I got a lot of traveling. Um, I'm going to try to get my Christmas stuff listed before I leave. I'm going to try. Oh, God. We shall see. Help me. Anyway, um, these go to like a punch bowl set, right? But these are two little loose cups that I got. I'm going to probably sell these separately because, like I said, I have a whole set of the bowl. And um, I think it's like six of these separately that I'll, that I'll sell as an entire set. But these somebody might like for the Christmas holiday because they're Hazel Atlas and they're vintage and they are adorably cute. Right? And they say eggnog. Aren't they adorable? And I paid two forty nine for both of them. Right? So I thought that was completely, completely cute. All right, Donna, where are we going next? All right, so the next item, okay, so let me put that to the side. We'll get to that in a minute. So um, when I went to, let's see, I went to, um, oh my goodness, Goodwill. I usually stop by Goodwill on my way home because I think I told you guys a million times on my way home, there's the Goodwill is literally right around the corner from my house. I usually go to Goodwill on my way home. Not, it's more so just not even so much that it's retail therapy. It's just really just to kind of sort of decompress from the day, walk around the store, see what they have. And, um, just to see what they have. It's good exercise. And, um, so I just usually stop by just to, just to stop by cause it's so close by. 
But the one day I went there, this particular handbag was not priced. And so I said, okay, fine. It's no big deal because unfortunately at this particular Goodwill, you know, um, how do I put this without being unkind? Um, they're not into the, uh, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. It wasn't priced. We'll leave that where that is. But the next day when I went back, um, it still wasn't priced, right? Or not the next day. It was a, actually a, a week. Um, when I went back, this purse was still not priced. I'm like, what the heck is going on? It had the little blue barb on it, right? But it still wasn't priced. So luckily, one of the uh, one of the associates was coming toward me. I'm like, oh my goodness, this, this item is still not priced. It hasn't been priced since last week. Can you get a price for me? And so she's like, okay, no problem, whatever. So she, it was priced well. I'll just leave it at it. So this is a, let me just show it to you guys. Let me just shut up. This is a, Pat Pat <laughs> I can't even talk. It is a Patricia Nash handbag. Look at that. So that's the Pat Patricia Nash um, logo, right? But look how beautiful, beautiful this purse is. Like beautiful. The leather is such, this, the, it's the quality of this leather is stunningly beautiful, guys. I'm telling you, it is stunningly beautiful. Let me just show you the inside. Look at the inside. No wear, no tear, no smells. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. This is her logo right there, right? But this is the name of the bag. It's Patricia Nash, right? And it's like a little crossbody bag, which I totally love. Like for just a second, I seriously was thinking about keeping this baby. I really was. I really was. But isn't that gorgeous? Like it's it is beautiful. Like you can't even deny how beautiful that that purse is, right? And it has like a little zipper compartment on the back and I got an amazing, I got this for an amazing price. I'm just going to leave it at that. But then the other thing, guys, I remember when I saw this, I remember that I had a Patricia Nash, um, like a wallet. It's a tooled leather wallet, right? So more than likely, I'm going to get both of these listed fairly quickly, but I completely forgot that I had another Patricia Nash product. This one is a tooled leather, um, I'm just going to call it like a little wallet. But that's the logo, as you can see. And it just opens up to like that. Again, in excellent condition. This beautiful suede inside. Excellent quality condition. And um, let me just show you the inside. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. So um, when I saw it, I was like, oh, my goodness. I think I have a wallet. And sure enough, I found a wallet. And there you go. So I'm going to get these babies listed, both of them listed, because they're, they're, they make good gifts. People who collect Patricia Nash will may, maybe want this for the Christmas holiday and certainly love her products. Again, they are excellent quality leather and, um, and just quality pieces. So I thought that was super duper cool. But wait, so at the Goodwill also, I found, was this Goodwill? This was actually 2nd Avenue. I found a Whiting and Davis mesh purse this was in somebody's cart i think they because they had a bunch of it had a bunch of um excuse me a bunch of purses and it could have been a reseller who was maybe uh just buying purses but this was at the bottom of all the purses probably like a good 20 purses and i'm like flipping through them thinking if i find anything interesting like maybe another patricia nash or an anushka or something like that i love anushka um, but, um, this was at the bottom, right? And it's this beautiful, I'm going to call it blue, not necessarily cobalt blue, but it is a beautiful mesh purse. It has a handle, right? And I paid $7.99. And, um, here is the, give me one second. Here is the, there's like a little heart. That's like, uh, something that Whiting and Davis does. But let me just show you the inside. One moment. I want you guys to see the Whiting and Davis tag. That's what that's what's helpful. Whiting and Davis, nineteen uh, USA, and so it has the Whiting and Davis logo on the uh, on the inside. And um, there was one that this one I did look up. 
Um, this one uh, recently sold. I want to say like early September. This particular one recently sold for $49. I, it is in excellent condition, guys. No breaks, no nothing. The, uh, the, the uh, strap is in good shape. No tears, no rips or anything. So, like I said, uh, purses are not necessarily my niche. I don't tend to pick them up. But if they're good ones, if they're Whiting and Davis, and certainly uh, Patricia Nash is, I'm a big fan of Patricia Nash because all of her purses sell really well. And the other one is Anushka, A-N-U-S-C-H-K-A. I usually pick up Anushka too. They're they're, they're few and far between to try to find those babies. But if you ever see Anushka purses or whatever, and you see them in a good price, pick them up. I sold an Anushka purse probably for about 60 bucks um, a while ago. But it, they're hard to find because people people know them and they usually pick them up. People like them and they, they buy them if they find them. But also resellers know about them too. All right, so that's that, guys. So I'm just trying to keep this under an hour. So the next set of items I'm going to show you, I paid $2 for this entire, entire bag. I showed you uh, some similar items like this. I'm going to just take a few out so you can see. These are absolutely vintage. They're made in Japan. They are light covers, right? They're light covers. So I have, um, I have this one. I, there's actually a set of probably 10 in here. So I have this one. And I have... This I'm not gonna show you all of them, but I got about ten of these. Let me show. You. I think they said made in Japan. I know they're made in Japan, but I have ten of these, and they're light covers. You so you put the light here, and you hang them on your tree, or put them on your mantle or whatever. But I paid two dollars for all of these. I got these from a um a church rummage sale, and uh, they were all for ten. I mean for two dollars for this entire entire bag, and um, and they sell super duper well so i'm really happy about that they call them uh put them uh put them over the light bulbs on your tree is what they said but that's what they do they they go over your light bulbs on your tree so that was that the next item i have my friend is a so guys you know that i talked about this in the past um natalie latette which is by uh she actually is a designer for anthropology anything anthropology Anything Pottery Barn or Restoration Hardware, I'm going to pick it up sight unseen. I'll do the research later. So Anthropology, Pottery Barn, or uh, Restoration Hardware, I, I tend to pick those up regardless. So this is a plate. When I first saw it, let me just show you the plate, Donna. Stop talking. Isn't that cute? It's a crazy looking shape to it, but I totally love the subject. I love, love, love it. So when I turned it over, it said Rebecca Rouchet. Is that Rebecca Rebelshay? R-E-B-O-U-C-H-E -E with apostrophe E. Uh, Rebecca Ruboche, Reboche. And I paid $2.99 for this plate, as you can see. And it says a rabbit named Renee. You guys, you know my middle name is Renee, right? Donna Renee. Hello. I was named after Hurricane. When Hurricane Donna came through the Washington, D.C. area in 1960, my mom named me after the Hurricane Donna. But then my grandmother wanted to name me Renee. So um, hence Donna Renee is my name. A little quick, quick story. So anyway, so anyway, I just thought this was so cute. Uh, and so this plate right here, this uh, is an anthropology. Uh, Re Rebecca Ribelche, she designs for anthropology. So I wish there were two of these. I wish there was four of these. Um, but there was only one. But I just thought the subject matter was so daggone freaking cute. Of course, I had to pick it up. So I'll do my research on this baby and see how much I, uh, see how much that one goes for. Oops, sorry about that. All right, so the next item I'm going to show you, this one is kind of big. I paid $4.99. Look at this. It is a set of chess pieces, right? So this was in somebody's cart that they uh, actually, the uh, associates in the store, they were going to, about to put this back. And I said, oh, excuse me, can I see that? And so there were two of them. So it's a set of these beautiful, I'm going to call them um, Asian chess pieces, right? And so there's 32, I have a set of two, so there's 16 pieces per package. And for chess pieces, I believe there's 32 pieces on the chess board. I believe so. So anyway, these were $4.99. I'm not sure exactly what these babies go for, guys. I have no idea. But they're chess pieces, and I just think they're made out of soapstone. I don't think they're made out of jade. When I felt them, they just felt like they might be just soapstone. 
Can you see that? But they're, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. There's no maker's mark on the bottom. I wish they were jade because if they were jade, I would probably go to Dakini. But uh, but no, they're um, they're not jade. They're just I believe I wonder if they grow if they glow. They probably don't glow. But anyway, um, I have two sets of these. I have a set of thirty two, and there's no maker's mark. So I have to do some research on these babies and see exactly what they go for. I don't really know, but I paid four forty nine for both of them. Now, this next piece, I'm going to try to speed this up. This next piece, guys, I am absolutely giddy about because I looked this up in the car. This one, I, this set I did because it was a lady in the store. I had this in my, I think she's a reseller. I had this in my cart. And so she peeked over. She said, oh, wow, I was going to pick those up. I said, mm-hmm. And so, um, so that made me, you know, pick them up anyway because I love the subject matter. Let me just show you what they look like. Give me one second. Hello. Give thanks with a grateful heart. You know I love that. Give thanks with a grateful heart. So I have a set of 10 of these. And these are, and I paid $5.99. And these are from Cracker Barrel, right? So when I look these babies up, this is heavy. I'm going to show you the, these and then I'm going to put them down. When I look these up in my car, minding my own business, I believe I saw that a set of two of these sold for like $20 for a set of two. And I have 10. So I'm going to go back, take my time, probably not today because I got stuff to do this evening. But I'm going to try to do a little bit more research on these babies to see exactly what they go for. I think that they will sell well, A, because they're Cracker Barrel. And B, because I believe these will be perfect for the... Um, Thanksgiving holiday season. They are gorgeous. I think these are um, salad size plates. They got to be at least eight inches, eight inches uh, wide. But they are gorgeous nonetheless. Wouldn't you just love those on your holiday table? Just gorgeous. So I'm going to do a little bit more research on those babies and see exactly what they are going for. And I will price them accordingly. And like I said, I have 10 uh, yes, please. All right, the next item I got from that same church rummage sale, it's just a set of uh, like napkins. I only paid a dollar for a set of five. And the reason why I got these is because um, normally when I send out uh, my packages, uh, particularly um, Christmas or, you know, Thanksgiving, I usually try to include something um, extra special. So with this is no exception. I'll just probably include one of these in the package just as a special gift to uh, anyone who buys something Christmas because it was only a dollar. So I just thought that was super duper cool. And I usually picked this up. Matter of fact, they had another one and I should have just went on and picked up the other one for a dollar too. All right. The next item I have is just a basket, right? I love the basket. It was only a dollar, but guess what? It has all of these vintage looking matchbooks in it. And what, what intrigued me is because one of them said the Watergate, give me one second, Watergate Inn. Guys, most of, the, most of you might know. I live in Maryland, but I actually grew up in Washington, D.C. So I remember as a child the Watergate Inn. It was very shishi poo poo, right? And this definitely looks very vintage and very, uh, very old. And the other one that I saw was Steak and Ale. And um, then I saw one that said, give me a second, the old 7 Eleven. Um, and then this one in particular, who knows? This one is like a Wrigley, Wrigley's uh, gum. Oh my God. Are these things even still viable? I guess so. <laughs> they look, they probably still work. I'm not really sure, but they're kind of jacked up. But they say Wrigley's spearmint gum. I light a lot of candles in my house. I don't have one lit right now. I think so. But I love candles. And so I can always use matches. Um, there's one for Holiday Inn. Um, this one says, uh, Park Promenade. These are all hotels that were in Washington, D.C. So whoever had these matches is obviously someone who is from the Washington, D.C. area. So I just thought for a dollar, you know, why not pick up some vintage nostalgic, you know, matchbooks. All right. All right. The next item is another set of plates. I paid $4.99. I love, love, love 222 Fifth. Their peacock uh, pattern. These one are called these one are called teal, like Eliza teal, but they remind me of that peacock pattern. And these have sold the cups and the bowls and the salt and pepper shakers and the 
um, creamers and the sugars. I always pick these up because they always do well for me. Um, these two, two, two fifth. So I paid two, four ninety nine for all of these. And one plate, uh, one plate sold at Marshalls for was was selling at Marshalls for two ninety nine for one. And I have a set of two, four, six, six of these. So these will do well. Not worried about that. Like I said, I don't have a problem with shipping plates, and I probably might lock those out. Um, I just might lock those out. Let's see. What else do I have, my friends? I think that is it. I really do. Oh, my goodness. Am I done? Ah, uh, one second. One other thing. Let me just show you. So, I don't want to pull all of these out. But let me just say this, guys. I have an entire um, nativity set. Give me one second. I'm just going to pull out a couple of them. I have an entire, from, this, from the church room sale, I have an entire nativity set. Let me just show you the baby Jesus. And I have, this is like a wise man. And so I have this as well as the manger. And I have like three wise men, Mary and Joseph, the baby Jesus. I think I have like a lamb and um, just a couple of other, other characters as well. And I paid $2 for that entire set. I think these are home co, I believe. I believe that's the home co mark on the back. But nativity sets always sell well for me and I love selling them. So I'm not going to pull all of them out, but I have an entire set of this plus the, give me one second. Here is the, um, I'm going to make sure exactly how, which way it goes, but here's the manger, right? All of these pieces, probably like a good 10 pieces. And I paid $2 for all of that. So those will do well. I'm not worried about that at all, but guys, all right, guys, so yeah, my phone has been acting so crazy. I seriously think I need to go get me another phone, so I do apologize for that. I don't know why it ended so abruptly. Um, but anyway, guys, what I just wanted to do was just wrap this video up, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If there's anything that you guys see that, uh, that I have showed here, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Send me an email. I'll put all of my contact information down there. I'll put both of my uh, stores there as well. I'm not really sure exactly when I'm going to get any of this stuff listed, but if there's anything that you guys see, don't hesitate to send me an email and let me know, hey, Donna, I just got to have that item that you showed on your video. All right? And again, like I said, don't forget to hit the uh, bell notification so that when I do upload videos, you guys will be notified if you do like this type of content. And as always, 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 thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I so appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Smooches.